Hi, this is Bhavesh. I'm the founder and CEO of CloudDat, a cloud training and consulting company. Today, we're going to talk about Intel's 4th Gen Z1 processor and how it helps in digital transformation. So today I have with me Sangeeta Roy. She's director, uh, software and services, partner business, sales and marketing group, Intel India. So Sangeeta, welcome. Um, as you know that, you know, security is a major area for all the organizations, right? Usually people think it slows them down when they implement security. But when the organizations are nowadays on cloud, they have enterprise data centers, they could be on the edge, right? Security becomes really, really important. So um, what are the key security challenges that organizations face uh, in today's world? Firstly, thank you for having us, Bhavesh, today. And yeah, you touched upon a very critical point around security as part of digital transformation. So let me start by uh, putting across a quote from Libby Plummer, uh, who we know is a freelance journalist and a copywriter who specializes on technology, space, and science. Mm -hmm. And she once mentioned that if you want to be secure, you need not be compliant or if you're compliant, you may not be secure. So coming back to your question on what are the challenges of businesses today is to be both secure and compliant while also maintaining their agility. Correct. It depends on how fast can one have with respect to getting to a time to market. So security is no more an aftermath, Bhavesh, of uh, post-finalizing a solution architecture. It really needs to be weaved into the fabric of a solution. How do you see security uh, being addressed by a lot of these modern enterprises, right? And, and, and how can uh, the Intel Xeon 4 Gen processor help in that? Yeah, so modern enterprises, again, is a very evolving. So let me try and answer this question for you by taking a step back. And I'm sure you would agree that technologies have developed over time, you know, to protect data uh, while also easing some of these security, privacy and compliance concerns. But there was still a gap. OK, and I'm sure uh, again, you know, as an ecosystem, we would agree that the storage and disk encryption mm -hmm. has also evolved and matured to protect data at rest. And network encryption is strong and also getting further stronger to protect data in transit. Okay. But none of these techniques, Bhavesh, helped the data while it was actively in use in the memory and processor. Okay. okay. So away from storage or off the network, it was still vulnerable. And this is the gap in the data protection continuum mm -hmm. that confidential computing is designed to address and to help protect data end to end. And coming back to how Intel is supporting confidential computing is we provide the foundational technology for businesses to keep their data safe. For example, you would have heard about Intel Software Guard extension. And what does Intel Software Guard extension do? This technology provides a hardware-based memory encryption, which isolates the application code or data in the memory. Rather than businesses uh, you know, excluding their sensitive data uh, from analytics or AI model, Businesses using Intel Xeon scalable processes today can create an access restricted data enclaves by using Intel Software Guard extension. And these isolated environments are thus helping the businesses to extract great value from their sensitive data while helping to still keep it confidential. That is brilliant. You know, I mean, just to do this without the technology that Intel provides would be so difficult. It would be nearly impossible to have that kind of protection for your data without without using the Intel Xeon 4 Gen processor. I think it's it's wonderful that uh, Intel has that feature. Uh, and before I think uh, uh, we had this, companies had to work a lot to have end-to-end -end protection, right? I mean, they had to have so many different softwares and so many different services integrated that is now not needed. Uh, they can just use the processor and get all of this out of the box. Yeah, and that's what I mentioned, Bhavi, some time back, that this is what Intel is bringing as a foundational technology for businesses. This is absolutely brilliant. In the modern workloads, right, when people move to cloud, 
uh, cloud as a, as a system is kind of more secure sometimes than on premises but the challenge is lies that you know you can have misconfiguration uh, you could have people leave your data vulnerable for exploitation right Be because of the configuration is not right the the, uh, the ACLs on the data are not right and so forth right uh, so because of this i think when the uh, when companies move to cloud they have to have a proper dev devsecops they have to have proper processes to make sure that the data is kind of secure on cloud, right? Uh, in this context, um, what are some of the practices to mitigate this kind of risk, right? When especially when companies move to cloud, how can they protect their data more efficiently on cloud? Yeah, so you touched upon a very buzzing word of DevSecOps, which is like an uh, amalgamation of development, security, and operations. So DevSecOps as an evolving trend, Bhavesh, involves the security team to automate most of the security configurations and best practices okay. along with the infrastructure provision and application in the pipeline. And when I say pipeline, I'm sure you'll agree with me that we are referring to the CICD pipeline, mm -hmm. okay? Now, uh, while there is still a human intervention that is needed in the process, mm -hmm. but around 80 to 90% of the procedures can be automated to speed up the deployment. Right. And this is what we believe today, most of the organizations are deploying across a wide range of sectors. And what I would like to conclude this by saying is it also ties into the theme that we spoke earlier with respect to being secured, compliant, and also maintain its agility. When you have repeatable processes and you're able to kind of, uh, you know, not rely on a human doing the right thing, because as humans, we could have good days, we could have bad days. I think our data is definitely more secure. Um, anything that especially the, uh, the the Xeon 4th gen processor helps in this. Is there any automation or anything that it provides that it can help with DevSecOps for the organizations? Yeah, so like we mentioned, security is a very key tenant of our Intel 4th generation Xeon scalable processors and the security element is what we are kind of strengthening as we scale gen generation to generation. And we will continue to strengthen that piece in our uh, next uh, generations to come as well. You know, in the olden days, we had people build infrastructure. Then the latest trend was infrastructure as code, right? Uh, that went on for a long time. And now the next buzzword or next evolution of that is security as code, right? And that's probably very apt given the different areas that, uh, you know, whether it's public cloud or on-premises that people have their data on, right? And so I think security as a code probably is the way to go. Can you... Uh, uh, help us understand a little bit that, you know, uh, how can you bring infrastructure, security, automation, um, you know, together and help customers protect their data better, have better processes or security processes for the organization? Yeah, so I'm sure you would have uh, read that Intel recently announced a collaboration with HashiCorp. Uh, to help businesses accelerate their cloud journey and optimize cost, performance, and security of the cloud workloads. So what does HashiCorp bring in? They bring in an open source and commercial products that enables developers, operators, and security right. professionals to provision, secure, connect, and run cloud computing infrastructure through automation. Mm -hmm. And together, Intel and HashiCorp is committed to provide developers, you know, sentinel policy recommendations, which are the security policy recommendations, mm -hmm. leveraging the inbuilt Intel Xeon scalable accelerators that will help optimize the workloads and also improve the return on investment of their cloud strategy. That's, that's really great. How, as a developer, right, what kind of work that they had to do before can be now automated, right? What are some of the things that they spend a lot of time on before maybe that this new uh, new collaboration with HashiCorp will simplify for them? Yeah, so I'm sure you will believe, uh, you know, with such rich experience in this domain, Bhavesh, that policies are a very important part of Cloud Foundation. And that's what I was kind of stressing on that 
together with Hashikor, we will bring to the developers the security policy recommendations, you know, and we believe that with po making policy a critical part of the cloud foundation, that is definitely going to help them to a very large extent. That, that's really brilliant. And uh, I think uh, with the latest advancement in AI, you can uh, write a lot of uh, automation using AI as well. So right. I think uh, all this mixed together, I think it will work really well because you know developers could potentially use some of those AI tools, mix them together, and they have a policy, a secure policy to, to protect their data, whether it is on-premises or on cloud or on the edge. So I think that's a really exciting time for the developers. Yeah, at the end, it's winning the heart of the developers, no matter what we do. <laughs>